Hey, it's Jason from uh, Bohemia Bees, and we're going to be making a uh, high capacity sugar syrup uh, feed mix bin. This is something you may have seen a few videos on uh, YouTube about. Uh, we're going to attempt to make one here. We found that um, mixing syrup by the gallon or even the five gallon tends to take a little bit of effort. We've got some parts here to put together a similar one we've seen online. Uh, I've got my uh, PVC pipe, and uh, this is my uh, one and a half inch pipe. We've got two lengths of that. We've got uh, two elbows, 90 degree elbows, a T. Uh, this is just a, a cross uh, exit T um, or a corner, really. Uh, that was going to be used for the bottom. A ball valve shut off. This is a, uh, a fitting for the uh, submersible sump pump and then a fitting to plug into the T where my uh, drain valve is gonna go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how we put this together. Uh, I got a half horse submersible pump. Cannot go anything lower than the half horse. The third horse is not powerful enough. Half horse is sufficient. And then of course we got our bin, this removable lid that we're gonna use. Uh, that's a 77 gallon. You can use a 55 gallon. You can use anything that you can get your hands on. This has been never been used. There's never been anything in it. So it's completely clean. Uh, if it's had chemicals or anything that you, uh, other types of food and such in it, you may want to sterilize it before you use it. But again, this is a, a standard plastic spin. This is just 77 gallons. Just gives me a good height to work from. Uh, I'm not going to necessarily fill this thing, but I'll fill it pretty high. The only piece we're not, we don't have today that I want to uh, add to it that we'll see um, is a submersible heat unit and uh, we'll get that here at the thousand watt and we'll show you how we attach that and what i'll do is i'll uh, fill them with water about halfway heat the water just so the sugar mixes and dissolves in the water and then we'll turn it on add the sugar it'll circulate and we'll see how this all works and then we'll be able to uh, shut the bowl valve off reverse the flow back up out uh, the tea and um, be able to pump it into using this and a standard hose just a small standard hose will be able to pump it uh, pump it into our buckets very easily so that's how we're going to do this uh, watch as we put this together if you got any questions comment below hopefully this is a uh, just another take on the ones you've seen online and we're going to try it here at the bohemia apiary to see it works for us thanks a lot okay so we've uh unpacked our submersible pump and as you can see, we've got a fitting that we're going to use to connect the uh, one and a half inch one and a half inch PVC into that that bottom. We're going to know go ahead and make a measure on these pipes. Your bin will be different heights, so it's not necessary for me to give you the, any kind of specific height. But ultimately, your pipe's going to come into this end. It's going to elbow out, and we're going to have our drain T valve, and that's going to come around, elbow again, and on the way down, it's going to put a ball valve in between so that it can be shut off. Uh, as well. So we're going to go ahead and uh, determine where our cuts need to be and, uh, and cut this PVC and uh, go from there. Okay, so we've taken our PVC parts and we've connected them together. As you can see, we've got the run that comes from the sump pump up an elbow, comes across to a T where there's a drain valve. It will follow that to a down the other side, which goes directly down on the bottom with a shutoff ball valve. And then down inside our tank, we have the sump pump and then a uh, pipe that will essentially push water out. So the water will be, or really the syrup, will be pulled up through the pipe on the left, through this pipe, through the top, and back down again on the other side, creating sort of a mixing motion to mix the syrup. And um, if we want to drain it, then we'll essentially turn the shutoff ball valve up here on, which when that closes, um, this will prevent the water from continuing down the pipe, thus pressurizing this to push syrup out into a hose. So that's the construction of it, how we put it together. We still got to clean it up a little bit and we're going to put a uh, way, we're going to cut a hole here to be able to pour sugar in very easily, as well as to be able to pull the the cords out. The one thing that we do want to add that's not shown online that I think will be very helpful is I purchased one of these uh, bucket heaters and these are just your standard thousand watt bucket heater. 
uh, we'll also run, I'm gonna take that and submerge that down into the water or at least use it so that I can put it in to the tank uh, just into when I fill it enough on the bottom so that you can see it will heat that water from 60 degrees to 130 degrees pretty fast. Then I'll pull that out and then begin to add the sugar as I turn on the sump pump motor, which will circulate uh, and mix the sugar syrup. And that's how we're uh, putting it together. So hopefully you follow along. And if you have any questions or suggestions on how we can make this better, ideas on how you maybe make it better, uh, definitely comment below. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and continue to the construction and uh, we'll show you our finished product. Okay, so we've got our pipes plumbed up and we've got everything in. We put 10 gallons of water and we're getting ready to make a first mixture of syrup through this and 10 gallons of water is going to make a two to one mixture. And if we do our proper ratio for two to one, 10 gallons of water for approximately 22 pounds of sugar. So we'll mix that in. The first thing we're gonna do though is we're gonna heat the water up so that it'll dissolve quicker. Uh, and as you can see, when we plug our unit in, it's now circulating from the bottom up the tube and out the uh, other side, which will allow it to stir and mix. I've got a bungee cord holding the float up so that it'll work. If you didn't do that, then the float would, uh, would not trigger the sump pump. All right, so let's mix our, uh, let's heat our water and then we'll mix our sugar. Okay, in order to heat the water, we're gonna use a uh, thousand watt uh, bucket heater, as you can see. This is a submersible heater. And we're gonna let this submerge only up to this point in the water, down to the bottom. And according to the uh, manufacturer's directions, this heater will heat that water, typically a five gallon bucket within you know 10 minutes to approximately 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what we need it to be at, just to be warmed up enough that it will help dissolve the sugar. And don't wanna keep it in there too long, naturally it won't boil, but we would do want it to heat up, so. We're gonna go ahead and submerge this, plug this in, leave it in for 10 minutes, and uh, hopefully we'll warm the water up enough to help dissolve the uh, sugar. All right, so as you can see, if we uh, test the water now, it's 69 degrees. And we'll test it here in just a moment. About 10 minutes. Okay, so we're now at about 95 degrees on the temperature, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull the heater out and start to mix in some of the sugar. So we're using pure cane sugar, and this is a 25 pound bag, and we'll need approximately three of these to fill for every uh, five gallon of water to do a two to one ratio. All right, so now we have our high capacity bee syrup making machine. We've got our syrup in the bottom. It's pumping it in and up the tube, and now out the drain valve, the bulb valve is shut, so it's going out the drain valve. And Hunter is over here filling up our buckets with our two to one mixture. Right, Hunter? Thumbs up. All right, so he's going to fill it up to where it almost is to the top. Yep, not all the way up. It's not going to overflow, and he's going to, yep, you got it right there. And then we're going to go to the next bucket. All right, well, that's how we do it. This is the high capacity machine for making bee syrup. Appreciate everybody watching. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Uh, and we'll show you how we do other things here at the Bohemia Apiary and uh, where hobby beekeeping is, you know, more than a hobby. It's, it's definitely an obsession. Thanks for watching.